Uh, now, I wasn't there to see it on New Year's Eve, but I expect that a lot of people were drinking. Now, in all fairness, I'm sure some of it was just, you know, good old, good old celebrating. Uh, you know, but um, I also know that for some people, there was more than that. You know, I think some people didn't have a very good year. Or some people were, were going through some pretty awful things at the time. And so on New Year's Eve, they decided, here's a time when I can forget all of that, at least for a while. And so some of them tried to do it by drinking alcohol. <laughs> you know, they must figure that if, you know, if they can get plastered, then they can forget all their problems. Again, at least for a while. And somehow that will make it better. You know, I could never see how drinking to forget is supposed to make things better. I guess I missed something along the way. And I'm, and I'm kind of glad I did. Well, the fact is, lots of Christians drink too. And that's not necessarily a problem. If it's done for the right reasons, if it's done moderately, at least that's what I think. Um, I know this is controversial, <laughs> whether it's okay for a Christian to drink alcohol. And I've heard arguments that go either way. Uh, some people point out that the Bible does not condemn drinking, it condemns drunkenness. And there's a big difference. So, according to them, it's okay to drink moderately. Others say that even moderate drinking can be dangerous because you're possibly starting down a path that will turn into something pretty awful. It, it can end up in alcoholism. And so they say, don't even start drinking. I guess we'll all have to make up our own minds about this, and I'm, I expect most of us already have. But today I want to think about another kind of, of uh, drinking that's specifically for Christians. Something that we're going to do in a few minutes, and we'll, we'll do some eating along with it. Um, it's going to make all the difference in the world what our purpose is, what our reason is, why we're doing this. I might just sum it up by saying, you know, some people drink to forget. Today we will drink to remember. Earlier we, we heard some verses from 1 Corinthians 10 and 11. Um, and that, of course, is where Jesus gave us the reason for why we are doing this today. Let me just go into what Leland read, and let me just read Jesus' words again that we heard then. What Jesus said is, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. It's pretty clear what those two have in common. In each part of this meal, Jesus was telling his followers to eat or drink in order to remember him and to remember what he did for us. 